This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Slacken the relevant rear wheel fasteners. Then jack up the rear of the car and support it on axle stands. Remove the appropriate road wheel. Support the rear axle beam with a trolley jack placed under the coil spring pocket. Warning, the jack must remain in this position until the shock absorber is refitted. Remove the access panel in the boot compartment and unscrew the shock absorber upper mounting nut. Hold the shock absorber piston rod with an Allen key while slackening the nut. Also remove the washer and mounting cushion. Unscrew the shock absorber lower mounting bolt. And remove the shock absorber. Offer the shock absorber into the upper mounting in the wheel arch, making sure the mounting cushions and upper washer are properly installed on the piston rod. Note, the lower mounting cushion is fitted on the piston rod with the conical side facing downwards towards the shock absorber. Fit the new shock lower mounting bolt. The upper mounting cushion is fitted with the conical side facing up and the washer is fitted with the concave side against the cushion. Fit the new upper shock mounting nut. Tighten it to the specified torque setting. Refit the access trim panel. Raise the trolley jack to simulate normal ride height. Then tighten the new lower mounting bolt to the specified torque setting. Remove the jack. Refit the rear wheel and fasteners. Then lower the car to the ground. Tighten the wheel fasteners to the specified torque. 